Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for another Heyday video. Now today's video is entitled How to Make an Avatar using the Player ID Supercell logo option that came into the game and is now live for everybody to use. Now the other day I showed you how to do the name, this time I'm going to show you how to actually make that image and it's fun to do. I've enjoyed messing around and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now first of all, we're going to be using the Brawl Star Pin Maker. You can save these imagery that you're making to your Player ID which can then be seen by any other Supercell player within the community and it goes with your name. You can change these pins once a day should you decide to do so and they can be used across any Supercell game. They're free to use, easy to make and you can be creative like I said they're fun to do. Now let's go through this in detail. Now first of all there is a control menu so once you've actually opened it up you'll see all of these little icons and I'm going to go through each of these icons for you specifically showing you what they do and then later on in the video I will be creating one of those logos using some of these icons to do that. You've also got that blue bar down there, there's a specific menu and then there are some numbers as well and again I'm going to cover all that now. Right, let's go into the first icon. Now the first icon down there looks like a set of dice. Now if you want to be relaxed, not stressed out, then just tap on the dice and a lot of random designs and colours will come up. These are preloaded designs that you can use or then modify, uh, have a little bit of fun with, maybe upload those existing designs to your game. And they're all based around the Brawl Star characters. Next one down there is the color changes. Now this color change doesn't affect everything. It affects the background, it affects the skin tone, uh, it affects the beard and certain other features like hair color as an example. So you can use this one to vary the color range that you've got within the game for that creative design you want to do. So in my case I like the red, so red is very important indeed. Next one down there is the rotate image. Now I've not actually used this one yet, uh, but I have found it interesting to mess around with because it allows me to turn that image upside down, and left, right, in whatever direction I want it to go. And I like this feature, so maybe this is something you might consider doing for some of your designs. An upside down chicken could be fun to make, so why not give it a go? Next one down there is the resize button. Now this one is really important. This one allows you to adjust the size of any of the parts that you are adding to your design. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, and for a function within this actual avatar, it's an important button to remember. Now I use this one with my design and I'll show you how to do it later on in the video as well. Next one you've got down there is the move location. Now again, this is another one that is really, really important. This one allows you to move any of the body parts, any of the accessories or whatever else you've got there. Once you've resized them and moved them around, have them in the body, outside the body, your choice in this case. Now even though I'm saying body, it's more like a headshot in this case. Next button down there we've got is the undo button. Now this is a godsend. If you make a mistake and you're not happy with it, you can just click the undo and it will revert back to the way it was before you started making the changes. So again, a very, very, very handy button indeed. I used it a few times during my messing around stage as I was discovering how to use this. So I do recommend using this as a feature. Now the next one, this is the one where you're going to be doing most of the work. You'll see down there it says head. This is your image menu. Now that actual icon has a little eyepiece next to it. If the eyepiece is crossed through it means that the item is hidden and it's not going to be in the design. So I can take away the head. If the eyepiece is showing then the head is actually seen and then this will allow you to see it in the design. Now, as I said, this blue bar is your image menu and it's going to contain a lot of specific parts that you want to be using within the actual design uh, to create and to modify the design that you are going to be doing. Now, there's a lot of items within the menu and if you tap them and work your way through them, you'll see some cool features and you can pick and choose from each of those. Now, just below the actual blue bar, you'll see some numbers and it says in this case 10 of 16. So it means in total there's 16 designs to choose from from the head. And this is image number 10 of the 16. And then you've got the arrow that lets you go to the left, so 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, or you're going up 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you can adjust the heads and look at the shapes as you're doing it. Now, what is that menu and what ones do I recommend? 
Now you can see down there, head, eyes, mouth, hair, effect, hands, accessories, eyebrows, beard, skin accessories, earrings, ears and background. And you can see the amount of designs you've got on the right hand side. Now if you want to make the chicken design, the chick Norris, head 10, mouth 34, eyes 18, hair 25 and eyebrows number 1. Those are the ones that you need, everything else can be hidden. Now let's go through each of the points in question as I create a design. Now, first of all, there is a background option. You can have the Brawl Stars icon, or you can have it without it. Now, at the moment, there's only Brawl Stars available, and I'm hoping at some stage in the future they will add in Heyday, which is my game, or some of the other games as well, because it would be nice to be able to see different variations. Next one down there is the head. So I'm going to start off with the heads part here and work my way through it with you. Now, as you can see, there are four examples, and each of those examples has a specific number. So design one, you got design two, slight variation, design three again, a slight variation, all the way up to design ten there, which is the one I will be using for the chicken. Now, if green's not your color, don't worry. As I said, you can tap on the actual uh, color icon uh, from that initial menu and change the color. And there is your color board. Now if you place your finger, you can scroll it up and down, left to right, and it will change the image color for you on the screen. But once you touch it and take your finger off, then it will use that color. But don't worry, you can go back in and modify the color. Now I was choosing red, so I went to the far left hand side, scrolled my finger up and down, choosing some colors. If I wanted white, same situation. There were some pre-color chosen. And as you can see down there, you've got variations in colors. You can have a yellow chicken, pink chicken, green chicken, white chicken, your choice at the end of the day. So if you were going with the chick Norris, what color would you choose? Now I'm going to go with the white one because that's my preference and I want to keep it nice and simple in this design. Right, next aspect is the head itself. Now, if you click on the rotate button, as I mentioned earlier within the menu, you'll see a dial come up. And this is kind of a dial that allows you to move it around. And as you move it around, the design will change in different directions. It's very simplistic to use. Like I said, it's fun, it's easy to use, and it's not challenging at all. So do mess around with each of the features. If you're not happy with the part, you don't want it. Like I said, keep it hidden. Now you can see here some examples. There's the original design. I've opened up the rotate down there and you can see where the actual circle is will give you a good indication on where the actual body is going to go to so if you wanted a chick Norris on its side facing off in a different direction you can do this so have a little bit of fun with this I think this rotate option is going to be really good for some players now the resize is the other one like I said resize is the button that allows you to make things smaller or bigger and again this is really really handy especially when it comes to the mouse and the eyepieces, if I do say so. Same with some of the accessories. So you can see their variations. Now this is a slide bar. You slide it to the left, you slide it to the right, small to big, as you can see down there. Pick and choose the size that you want. But don't worry, if you make a mistake, you can reset it So with the undo button. Now, relocate. I like the relocate button. This is the one that actually allows me to change its location. You can keep it in the one place, you can move it to different spaces. Now remember, with that background you got differences in the color so there's kind of like a lighted area and an unlit area so you can move it around and then blend in and have a really creative design image if you wanted to most important part for Tick Norris is definitely a hair piece now there's a lot of hair designs 29 in total you're going to need number 25 or 29, but you can see some variations down there. There's like 13, 14, 17. So you can make your Chick Norris maybe a Chiquita Norris. You can maybe forget Chick Norris and choose another kind of design. But a lot of variations, and then again, you've got some choices. You can change the color. You can change the size. Uh, you can then move it around if you wanted to with hair pieces. You can add mouth pieces to it as well. Uh, again, mouthpiece is number 34, hairpiece is number 25, 29. Adjust the sizes, change the position. These are all different functions and features that you're going to be using to make this chicken design. Now, when it comes to adding in the eyes, you need number 18 of 21. Uh, eyebrows is number 1 of 9. And again, you'll be using the move feature. So I would say place them high first of all. Get the size and the shape that you want. Um, make them big, make them small. Move them into position. Same as when you've done the mouth as well. Then add in some eyebrows. Maybe some nice eyebrows would be better than the number 1 because it does look very fierce. 
Now, if you want your chicken to have some hands or to have some other aspects to his design, you've got a hand feature as well. Now, the design down here uses number one and number two. If you use the move button, you can change the location. You can change the size on this as well. But if you do change the color, remember this is skin tone, so whatever the head is, the hands will be the same color. If you wanted to use accessories and maybe give it some hats, maybe add some glasses, which is what I've done with my design, you can modify that as well. Now, I went with 21 of 34. I like those glasses. There are some cool hat pieces. Now, remember, these are all Brawl Star character ones. So we are limited with the designs that we can choose, but it is kind of fun to mess around. And again, if you are changing the direction, you can be very creative. Now, when it comes down to placing these pieces, like I said, you're changing the size, making them bigger, making them smaller, you're moving them around into the right position. I wanted it so that there was a nice little bit of a size difference, and also I could see the eyes clearly within the glasses itself, with the eyebrows just above the glasses as well, and I like what I went with. Now, there are ear options. I did look at the ear options. There's five choices down there, and again, you can move those, you can make them bigger or smaller but it kind of makes it obviously look weird and he doesn't really have one in his design either now hopefully if we get some feathered pieces or other bits in the future we could have a bit of fun but if you're making a pig design very cool indeed so with ears make sure that they are hidden and they don't come up now as I mentioned earlier there's the background option now you've got that kind of like a lit up area there behind it as you move the chicken around if you wanted to you can place it in a more darker zone or you can have it half and half so do choose the right color background that you want that enhances your design be very careful and don't forget if you're not happy with it you can reset it back and undo it now once you've chosen your design come up in the top hand corner and it says ID now I want this design I want it to go into my actual image itself so so when I see it in my game, that's what it looks like. I've got the chicken for heyday, I've got the red as in the color, and I've got the slight modification to show that it's the design that I've actually chosen for it. Now I'm going to be saving that pin to my Supercell ID, it will cover all of my games. Now this is Red Knight 4, so my fourth farm. Uh, you can see down in the bottom left hand corner there's the old imagery and the new ones at the top there. So once I've saved the pin to this Supercell ID, it will then say save and that will then allocate that design to my Supercell ID, to my player ID, your choice on what you want to call it. And then if I wanted to, I can then switch the farms and then go to my other farms and use the same design across all of my farms. Or I can start again and make another new design. The choice is yours. You've got a lot of creativity here. If you wanted to, you could even download it. You can share it on social media. Um, I wish I had the ability to re-upload the same design without having to recreate it again, but I haven't found that part out. Now, switching accounts is very simple. Uh, switching accounts is literally typing in the email for your account if you haven't already done so typing in the six digit code icon it will then change it to this account you can then save the same design to that account as well so whether it's red knight two three or four or five in my case I could have the chicken uh, avatar that I've saved down there and as you can see here from my old screenshot to my new screenshot there's my main logo which is what I really want to get but I can't upload it yet you'll see some old Old chicken designs down there and you'll see the new ones added to number two and number four now you can still change your designs in game if you wanted to but these new pin options allow you to be more creative and that's the reason why I do like it that creative element I think is fun and I think you can have a lot of fun now I kind of like the bearded design down there I like some of the hats and I gave you some features here to look at with this one just to show you some of the option you've got with or with without hands with ears as well it doesn't have to be this design you've got so many out there so please do mess around with it like I said it's free to do and it's good fun 
and you can change it once a day if you wanted to so not a problem and that's what you're going to do so let me show you how i walk through through this now i've clicked the open the avatar part i'm now showing you some designs what i'm going to do is to click on the dice here and it will bring up a few different imagery and the different background now it's a basic standard menu down there okay the menu i've already walked you through and shown you but you can see some of the designs are already existing within the game now as i said they are brawl star designs so as such okay maybe there are certain designs that you're not keen on but don't worry about it just be creative modify them change them adjust them based on your likes or dislikes in this case I think there were some good pieces down there that I'm strongly considering as another option for the future. Um, but personally, I want to upload my own uh, brand logo to my actual in-game accounts. Now, remember, as I said before, okay, my code is Red Knight. I've got Red Knight 2, 3, 4, and 5. Any other Red Knight accounts uh, are not mine. And once my logo is uploaded to all of them, then that's it. Nobody else can use my logo so you'll be more comfortable with that one but in the meantime I'm going to be using this menu here as you can see by tapping on each of the different choices and then changing the design now here I've taken an existing design what I'm going to do is to hide everything so where you see a head and there's a little eyepiece I'm going to hide it now I'm going to tap it to the next one hide that one go to the next aspect down there working my way down hide 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 and you can see that the pieces are starting to disappear from this initial design now, this is very handy for me. It allows me to have a empty board for me creating the design that I want to do. But for yourself, um, go back to the same stage I'm doing here by removing everything and then start adding pieces in and seeing what you like or don't like. Uh, if you are going to create your own design, please do start with the head as the very first piece. Uh, and then this will give you the chance to actually mess around and to be very creative indeed. So everything is now here. Then I've got the blank board. Uh, I'm going to take away the background and there we go. So I'm ready to go. Now the first thing I want to do is to go back to the blue button again. And then I want to bring up a head piece. Once I bring up a head piece, then I can start choosing my head. So I unhide it. There's a design down there. That's number 14. I'm going to go through the design choices until I find the one I want. In this case, it's number 10. Now, I'm not happy with 10's number 10's color. I want Chick Norris to be white. So I need to open up the color menu. Now, there's the color menu. And I've changed it to white. I've now got a white head down there. Now the head is done. I can change the size, I can move its location, I can make it bigger, smaller. Um, so remember you've got those buttons there for doing that should you wish to do it. Now I'm more likely to make it bigger because I like the larger size and I think it's much better. But next thing I need to do is to add in the hair piece. Now again, once you add in the hair piece, you can see there's different designs until you scroll through to the one that you want, which is number 25 for the Chick Norris. Now that's a very tiny one and it's the wrong color. So we're gonna go with the red in this case. There we go, I'm sliding up and down, choosing the right red. Now I want to change the size. So I'm using that big and small button, which is the arrow icon. Com. Slide it to the right and it makes it bigger indeed. Slide it back to the left makes it smaller. So as you can see it does look kind of cool. Is it in the right position? I think so. So I am happy with that one. What I need to do now is to bring the mouth into it. So I make the mouth unhidden and I'm going to use number 34. Now number 34 is in the wrong location for me. So what I need to do is to use the move icon and you can see there where I'm actually moving it now trying to get it in place. So putting it between those lines now the great thing about choosing that head design it makes it easier for me to see for using the mouth and the actual red piece hanging down below um, so there we go one mouth set up now I'm happy with that I like that one the only issue I've got is the color difference between the two reds so I might have to change that one a little bit later now the eye pieces now I've added the eyes in what I then did was move the eyes a little bit higher up for me just so I can start thinking about placement scrolling through there's a lot of really cute ones now there are some 
some crying ones and a few other choices so why not pick and choose and then once you've got the eyes correct adjust them up and down or left and right where you want to place them make them bigger make them smaller again just as you choose the right design that you're looking at now I'm happy with that one so next one I need is my eyebrows everybody needs eyebrows so there we go very fierce scary looking one now there are some different eyebrows down there so again go through those eyebrows looking at your preference because there are some really good pieces down there for sad faces happy faces worried faces angry faces um, so I did like this one and I was so tempted to change it um, but I think maybe I need to use different eyes if I were to do that now these are the eyes and the eyebrows I'm going to stick with and I was thinking like actually I want to add some hands into my design so I wonder what hands would look like and then I think I need some accessories as well so I want to do the accessories well let's have a look at the hands first of all so I've clicked on the hands brought up one hand and again as I slide on through there's a lot of different hands I can make the hands bigger smaller I can change their location um, so again you've got variations the hand does doesn't actually have to be on the design. You can pick and choose. There's single hands, there's double hands, they're holding things, they're clapping. The clapping one was a favorite one of mine. I like this one. So again, you can be a little bit more creative. You can have the hands up in the air if you want, doing the clapping sound, as though they're dancing. But this is the design I went with. I like the placement of the two fingers sticking up just to the side of the mouth, and I thought, yay, peace man. Now I need some accessories. Now I like the accessories. The accessories can be a lot of fun indeed. There's a lot of hats pieces. There's a lot of interesting designs down there. And this is where I think a lot of you will have a lot of fun. Now changing the color of these we can't do. Uh, you'll see the color icon is blanked out. But there are so many variations and it is cool to do. Now I was partial to the glasses. So I thought I'm going to choose some glasses. And then I saw the spectacles and I thought yes that's what I want. So I want some spectacles on my actual chicken. So there we go. Now the size wasn't the way I wanted. The positioning wasn't good so I made them smaller. I raised them up a little bit in position as well. Uh, and put them exactly where I wanted them to be and then that looked good so now we're getting the chicken that I wanted for my design what do you think it's cool isn't it now like I said I'm having a lot of fun messing around with this you can do the same you can pick and choose you can change the design and if so share those imagery with me later because I'd love to see now the last part for my design I want to bring the background back now I kept the background out originally because I find it easier to work with a blank template but now I need to add that red back into it Ooh, that's a horrible color there we go come back to the red give it that red background yeah I like that that looks good and my chicken head is just in the right location now once I've actually got that, I'm satisfied with the design, what I'm going to do is to upload it to my Supercell ID. So top right hand corner, it says ID. I click on that one and I then upload it. The icon next to it is a download icon and you can actually download it to your devices. You can share it and save it till later as well and it's nice to add to social media. This is at the stage where once you've actually saved it to your account, if you wanted to, you can press the switch account as well and switch over to your other accounts uh, and then change or use the same logo if that's to your choice. Now you can see down at the bottom, Red Knight 4 has changed. If I were to go back into the game, everything would be done um and it's cool now like i said you can do this once a day if you wanted to you can change it as often as you like you can be as creative as much as you like it's fun it's free to do so why not mess around until you are satisfied with your avatar for your game now will they be adding some more imagery in in the future i really hope so uh, this one's been around for a while it's now globally live please make sure you have saved your name that you have chosen that was the video i did the other day if you haven't already done so, please go into the game and pre-choose your names before someone else has taken it. Mine are Red Knight, as you know. So Red Knight, Red Knight 2, 3, 4, and 5. Just like my creator code, Red Knight. So if you'd like to support me, please do so. Type 
the code in the green box. Now, I've enjoyed making the video. Hopefully it's informative enough for you to know what you've got to do. If you've got any questions to this, let me know and I will make more videos or maybe show you how to make some other designs. Now, speaking of other videos, why not check out some of these other videos in these playlists within my channel or even subscribe. I'm working towards 75,000. So join me in my journey. You take care now and see you later. Bye, everybody.